हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड वेलकम बैक टू लाइफ ऑफ इंडियन मॉम इन सिंगापुर सो टुडे आई एम शेयरिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एंड डिमांडिंग डिश इन द होल वर्ल्ड व्हिच इज बटर क्रीमी चिकन एंड हियर आई एम गोना मेक इट विदाउट बटर विल बी यूज घी इंस्टेड ऑफ बटर बट द टेस्ट वुड बी सेम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड दिस यमी टेस्टी एंड आवर ऑल टाइम फेवरेट डिश बटर चिकन रेसिपी So here I have taken around 600 grams fresh chicken. I washed two or three times, and now I'm adding masala for marination. So I am adding here around one, two tablespoon ginger and garlic paste, two teaspoon salt, two teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon garam masala powder, one teaspoon zeera or cumin seed powder, two teaspoon coriander powder. One lemon juice, two tablespoon curd or yogurt, one tablespoon cream, a uh, few drops of orange food color, and half teaspoon kasuri methi powder. Mix all the ingredients properly and keep aside for at least half an hour. Now we'll take a pan and adding around 2 tablespoon ghee in the pan. Here we can add butter also. Now I'm adding marinated pieces of chicken and fry it till it changes the color. It should turn into light brown in color. Fry it upper and lower both side properly. Now as you can see here chicken has changed its color nicely in light brown in color so we will take out all the pieces of chicken and keep aside here is preparation for gravy so i have taken here one big onion sliced in this way and i chopped one tomato in square shape now in that same pan we'll add sliced onion saute it for a minute Onion should not light brown in color so that our gravy looks better in color. Then I added around one tablespoon ginger and garlic paste. Saute again for a minute on low to medium flame, and then I add chopped tomato. After 2 minutes I am adding salt as per taste 2 tsp red chili powder 1 tsp zeera or cumin seed powder and 2 tsp coriander powder mix it well for a minute then I added 1/4 cup water to gravy mix it well for half or 1 minute then switch off the gas and keep aside till the mixture cools down at room temperature Now here I'm adding around 2 tablespoon cashew nut powder or kaju powder and 1 tablespoon tomato sauce paste just after switch off the gas mix it really well and wait for cool down Our mixture is completely cools down at room temperature now I'm going to grind it in a fine paste in a mixer grinder
look at the creamy texture and color of the gravy. To make sure that there is no chunks behind left, I am straining it too so that we get fine gravy. Here our straining process has been done. Now to give the gravy more thick and rich texture, I am adding around 1 4th cup cream in the mixture and stir it well. Now switch on the gas. I am keeping the same pan on low flame and pouring this gravy mixture in the pan and then gradually add all the fried pieces of chicken as well. I have added 1 4th cup of water too. Here now I am adding this 1 teaspoon kasuri methi in the mixture. Now cover the lid for 2 minutes on low flame. After 2 minutes just check here. I uncovered the lid and our delicious dhuwa dhar khushbu dar creamy butter chicken is all set to serve. It looks so delicious. Mashallah. Now I dish out and pour some extra cream on top and garnish with chopped green coriander. It goes very well with naan chapati or boiled rice. So ending this video now, I hope you like it. Do try it once and let me know the feedback. Hit the like button if you admiring my videos and do subscribe my channel. We will be see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.